Okay, in this segment, I would like to show you how to make a very simple perfume using argawood. So for this blend, we're going to be using three essential oils, sandalwood, argawood, resin, or the pure oud, and ambret seed, absolute if you have it. If you don't have that one, then we can substitute it with another oil, such as carrot seed or caramon. Now this recipe calls for 100 drops of sandalwood, which is quite a lot, and if you're on a tight budget, you may not want to use that much. But um, I know for my particular sandalwood, I usually spend about $150 on a five mil bottle, so I'm actually probably gonna even cut this recipe down to a very small size, maybe just a sample, just to see if I really like this perfume first. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you the recipe. It's 100 drops of sandalwood essential oil, 10 drops of argawood resin or pure oud, and then one drop of ambret seed absolute. Now, if you're gonna be using a pipette to measure out your ambret absolute, you're gonna just need to be very exact in your measurement because it will overpower the rest of the oils and you, you need to let it sit and check on it in a week or two on your skin to make sure it's what you like. Now, if you wanna make it a little sweeter, then you can go ahead and add another drop of the ambret but really be careful as it, like I said, will sort of take on the whole blend and make it a lot more sweeter than you may like it. Now, the one I have is about three years old, so it's really beyond words as far as its fragrance being very beautiful. And this is the one I have here, which is actually pure oud. And as you can see, it's very, very thick, so it's almost Hardly, hardly able to get it out. So what you know what I have to do, whenever I have a thick oil like this, I usually just sort of roll it between my hands to warm it up, just to you know get it to loosen up a bit. Or you can also use the bath method, which would be actually just getting a, a bowl of hot water and sitting your bottle down in it, because this is just not gonna move if you don't do that. And you wanna loosen it up a bit before you try to work with it. Now, as you have your oils ready to go, you wanna pick out something to put your blend in. In this case, I mean, I have this brown bottle, not very pretty, but it's gonna be able to store it for a few weeks before I add it to my final place that I wanna carry my perfume. And I have this beautiful necklace that actually is for carrying my perfume. And so if you look at this, um, you'll see that it has just a little top that spins off you can take it out and it has that little tip on it. So I really can't add much in here. This will probably only hold just a couple of drops, just enough to have during the day. And so what I would do is just dip this in and I just, you know, place it on my wrist to wear throughout the day. And then you just put this back in and you can just, you know, wear it around your neck or, you know, have it as a just a beautiful necklace to wear. Now, in order to get your perfume into this bottle, you're gonna need a, some kind of funnel. And this one is very, very tiny. So you can see that this tip is tiny. So you do need to make sure that you can thin out your blend. In fact, if you prefer, you could make it into a spray and use alcohol for it. So what we do is we're gonna start with our sandalwood. Now, like I said, I was just gonna do a test run. I want to make sure I like this before I commit that much oil to this blend. So I want to just start with adding just a few drops of the sandalwood. And this is a thick oil too. You can see it doesn't come out very quickly. Now if I was at home, I would be probably pulling out my perfume strips and adding a drop to each tip just to smell it and make sure I like it before I put these costly oils together. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add what I have here is cardamom. And I'm gonna use my pipette for this one. Now this is different. It's not the traditional ode, but you know, like I said, if you use the ambret seed, it's got a, it's a plant musk. So it's gonna add that musky scent to it. But I, I just sort of wanted to do something different. So I thought I would add this one in. And then we have our arca wood. 
And you can see it's already actually starting to loosen up a bit here. So I need to use my little perfume stir rod here just to get some on it and just start to blend it in with the other oils. And you can see, you need a lot of oil to work with here, but we're really just sort of working on if we like the fragrance. I'm not as concerned with the health benefits, but more just on fragrance. So we just stir it up and we can add a little bit more of the other oils in. And we just check that fragrance. Wow, that's amazing. This smells so good. No wonder it's so popular in the Middle East. Men love to wear it as a cologne and to use it all the time, as, you men as she mentioned in the video, all the different ways that it's very popular in the Middle East. So it's no wonder that it was used in Israel as part of the burial ceremony for Yeshua. Such a costly fragrance that represents our Messiah. <laughs>